Hi everyone and welcome to another video um, that is the third part of the web scraping project where we are web scraping the jobs from Carriere. If you are watching the previous two videos, you know that we already scraped a list of jobs with the descriptions. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract the skills a new column and save it to the CSV file. To begin with, um, please import the regex framework from Python and we're going to create a new function called extract skills where you extract skills from a job description. Then um, we will pre-process the text um, because if you remember, and please check out um, in my previous video that the description of the job is being saved in, in the raw format, which means we have a lot of duplicates, we have a lot of characters, characters that we do not need. We will try to remove it in this, pro, in, in this function and return a clean pre-processed text. That's why here in the past job description function, you have to call pre-processed text when you are returning the, uh, the description. And also, of course, we're going to modify the main function the same as we did in the description with the description uh, we're going to extract skills from the job description we're going to run the function in the main function let's get started and first of all let's start with the pre-processing of the description the first step of our pre-processing text function would be to remove the urls if you remember from the previous video we have a lot of URLs that we do not really need. So we will start from the variable text because we are passing the text argument to our function. And then we're using the regex framework and we substitute. So we are looking for a specific um, text and then we substitute with the um, empty space. I will copy paste because I already prepared the um, regex, uh, so the um, regular expressions that we are looking for. And for the URL, we it, it will look like this. And it looks for any sequence of characters that starts with HTTP and is followed by non-white space characters. Non-white space characters is that part. This means one or more non-space characters. This will match and remove entire URLs. So we are substituting that with the empty space and here we need a variable text. Next, we want to remove the email addresses. We have a lot of email addresses because on each job position, it shows you the person that you want to contact in order to apply for this job. Again, we will write down the text variable uh, regex sub is here. So again, um, it looks for any sequence of non-space characters followed by an add symbol. And then another sequence of non-space characters. Imagine here would be your first name and last name and here would be the domain. And the same we do here, empty space and text. The third step would be to remove unwanted characters and extra spaces. So let's write down um, the text again and regex sub. So what does it mean? This regular expression matches any character that is not an alphabetic letter and that is also not a German specific letter. Because if you remember, we have the job positions that are both in English and in German. Then it looks for spaces and slashes. And of course, um, dot, a comma, or currency. For extra spaces, we're going to write text again, the same method. 
and we will use slightly different um, expression. This expression matches any sequence of one or more white space characters, like spaces, tabs, or new lines. Right. Optionally, we can convert the whole text to lowercase. So we write down text, text, lower. You don't have to do that, but I decided to do that. And the last step would be to iterate through the lines and to remove the duplicates. Because if you remember, we had a lot of duplicate lines. These are not even the duplicate words. They, and the text was really duplicated by lines. So we want to remove that. Let's write um, the variable scene lines. And here we will store in the set, we will store the lines that we already seen the whole text we will split into lines so that we will be looking line by line. And we will store the unique lines in the unique lines variable. Now we need to iterate through line by line for line in lines. If we have the line that was not yet seen, We want to append it to the unique lines variable. And we want to mark that this line was already seen. For this, we need the scene line variable and we need to use the method add because it's a set. That's why add, not append. And in the parentheses, we will write down the line. Good. Now let's return the unique lines. Good. Um, make sure that you are calling this preprocess text function um, in the function that we created in the last video because uh, once you have the description, you want to preprocess the text. So make sure that you write down it here. Now let's move to the extracting skills function. I've already predefined the skills to look for. I'm looking for data engineering positions and you can see that here down. Of course, you can look for a different position up to you. Um, you can even write down the skills that you possess so that later you can find out the jobs that, that have the skills that you have. Um, so it's up to you. I define the skills that in general required if you are applying to, to to be a data engineer but it's up to you which skills you write down here based on what you provide here um, the the function will iterate through the descriptions and will look for the skills you provided and after you've done this we want to save the skills into the variable skills and for each scale, for scale in scale keyword, if 
scale lower because if you remember we defined in our pre-processing function um, that the text should be a lowercase and that's why we don't want the problems with the case sensitivity so just let's keep it lowercase the description we have it um, as an argument now let's make it lower as well now we want to return the list of skills as a comma separated string that's why here we want comma dot join all skills that we found That's it. Um, the last step would be to call the function in the main function. This will be similar to the description column. So we need job scales because we want the column in the CSV file to be called scales equals to and here we call the function extract scales and we pass the uh, the argument job description because we extract the scales from the job description great i think now we can run the whole script and see if it works Let's check out the CSV file and it already looks much better than in the previous video. We have the skills column and let's check the skills. So for example, here we have AWS CICD ETL SQL Python. Um, another job has dot nanalyse sql python flexibilität because i guess it was in in german it, po it was posted in german um, it means that it does work and we do have an additional column skills great so in the next videos i will connect the database and i will try to match the jobs to my cv if you're a data engineer or a data scientist or you want to be one that would be a great project for your portfolio don't forget to hit the subscribe button in order not to miss the whole project.